Hi, let's understand the 5G new radio in a little bit more detail. We have seen in the previous slide that the baseband unit is now divided into two parts. One is a distributed unit and another is a central unit. These are getting virtualized. Now with time it is getting going towards the cloudification also and going towards the open radio access network. We'll talk about that in more detail in the subsequent slides. Here we have seen that in 4G or in conventional networks, the baseband unit is catering to mostly all the different layers, protocol layers, and have all the functionalities embedded in baseband unit. Whereas in case of evolved technologies, some of the real time functionalities that will be catered by the distributed unit, whereas other non time or non critical functionalities that will be taken care by the central unit. Let's understand these particular protocols in a little bit more detail. So radio unit is basically taking care of analog to digital and digital to analog conversion. Any data which is going from the antenna, which is the electrical signals coming down to the DU, it will be converted to the analog to digital first. So the radio unit was doing that functionalities. Whereas whatever the data which is going from the distributed unit towards the RU and going toward antenna, that will be changed from digital to analog that will be done by RU itself. So time to frequency and frequency to time domain conversion of a signal that will be also done by the radio unit in this case. After that, the distributed unit is catering to the higher physical layer where the modulation for different functionalities and services that will be done. The coding and the rate matching which is to be done between the transport block at the MAC layer or with the physical layer, whatever the PRP allocations are there, that will be all rate matching done by the distributed unit in this case. The scheduling, the allocation of resources that will be done by MAC layer, which is catered by the distributed unit itself. Automatic repeat request at a RLC layer that will be done by the distributed unit. So we'll talk about all these different protocols in more detail through simulations in the subsequent slides. So if there is a data which is not yet uh, received by the receiver, how it will be recent again, that will all done by the distributed unit. Going forward in the central unit, we have a new, new protocol incorporated here, which is STAP which is a service data adaptation protocol, which is used for the QS flow handling because now in 5G, we have end-to-end -end QoS enabled and that all information is there, different uh, QFIs are there. We'll talk about that in subsequent slides. Any communication with the core network that is done by the RRC, which is embedded in the central unit in case of 5G. So these are broadly the use cases of these different protocols.